Hi, welcome to Ashi Watches. Today I'm gonna to try to change the, I'm gonna to try to remove the balance staff from this tiny um, balance wheel. And this is uh, in preparation to do the same thing on the IWC Cal 44. So the, the, I'll probably have to seek some help from the internet but basically the idea <laughs> The idea is to re is to remove the um, just got to do something really simple, which is remove the staff inside of this. It'd be funny if that staff is fine for the IWC actually. Um, <clears throat> sorry if you're not following this. I have to re ref I have to I have to refer to the internet to get some help with this first of all. So just so you know, this tool here that this thing is hanging from is uh. This is actually made for doing this. Somehow I broke the balance jewel setting there. Inca block shock setting. It seems like that spring is twisted on itself too. How would you undo that? Now the reason why I feel so inclined as to play around with this is just to get comfortable. There's like, what the hell? There's like glue on this. It doesn't matter right now. I did do some gluing recently. Yikes. Oh, man.
Oh, there's just a big, big bend in there. So it's kind of un it's unhooked. Wait, just got hooked again. Okay, so I guess I'm going to try to do this from memory at first here because I don't have to actually do anything until I figure this out. But basically What we're going to end up with is using one of these things to kind of separate Is this, yeah. Okay, so this is the roller table and the impulse jewel. Here's the, ro this is the, called the roller table. This is the impulse jewel. And so what we will want to do is punch that down. And I guess I can use one of these punches. Oh, wait a second. That hole is far too big for that. This guy has a, this has a tiny hole. Hmm. Okay, so I can try. Gotta get my hammer ready. Look at that. Roller table freed. And now, what do we have left here? So the roller table was press fit on here and we've now removed that. But the next thing is to remove the collet, which is on the other side of the balance wheel.
Meanwhile, if this was not like a test thing, I would have destroyed this. I mean, how do you do this without destroying that spring? Is there some other way to do this? So here's my theory. I need to get that spring completely above Oh wait, there's something in the way. Yeah, that's just not gonna work. It just won't go up high enough because the balance wheel is in the way. Okay, so what's the other way to do this? gonna <clears throat> refer to the internet for this and specifically my favorite platform YouTube I feel like Precision Horology did a good job with this, but probably. Like so, to once the rivets run and you twist and you break the rivet. If um, you would cut, um, but you can just uh, make sure you, you, you use the right section uh, of the remover there. So now we have everything removed. We have this here, number 2810, I believe it is. They, they work very, very well. Um, okay, so that, that remover is the problem. I don't have that remover. And I think I thought that this could be used See what else we have here. What's that? These Chinese tools, you know, they they they, they smother it in grease <laughs> because it's um it's not actually it'll rust if it's not smothered in grease. So that's a that's kind of not great.
Now, but I'd like to see, ooh, what is that? Oh, that's, that's my own part. I just about lost it. That's my roller table. Okay, the problem is... So specifically, the problem now is removing the collette. That's the challenge I have on this tiny thing. Yeah, they're, they're very good. And they don't have a tendency to, depending on how far you go, you could actually chop the balance staff off. Um, but you can just uh, make sure you, you, you use the right section of the remover there. there. So now we have everything removed, we have just our balance and our staff. Now, we going to make a specific roller removal tool, but to be completely honest with you, these relatively simple um, uh, Bergeon um, roller removers here, number 2810, I believe it is, they, they work very, very well. Um, yeah. Roller, the balance Oh, itself. so the thing is, um, and now we're going to put that aside. Now the next thing we need to do... Okay, so that's what he's doing. But he's got the spring... <laughs> he's got the spring totally free already. The spring is there, but it's, it's freed from the other end of the balance staff. So I'm going to do that because because I, that's what I have to do. And then I'll just use the, like he's using almost like hand lifters to, to lift that up. Yeah, you know what, let's just try that. Now I had a little sticking plate that I, I misplaced. It must be here. No. Can we just use this then? Now, what in theory you would need two very sharp hand lifters. The hand lifters are here. So I'm going to try to go under the roller table. Like this. Yeah. 
Hey, that worked. Now, did the hairspring... Is that thing still attached to the hairspring, or is it about to fall off? So there's my... This is the rivet that I have to break next. Put that there. And then... So that worked. And that's basically the tiniest, that's the tiniest collette in the world. So it gives me a little bit of confidence that I can do that. Now the next thing he's going to do is and we he removed the, that that was removing the the roller table. So you would put it in the piece and you would punch it out. Um, various different stakes you would. One of the more traditional ways. Okay, so now he's gonna talk about how to break the rivet using the traditional way. So he's using a, a Horia tool, or what looks like a Horia tool. But I should be able to just use this guy right and then and then a tiny punch The funny thing about all this watchmaking business is it's just complicated because it's so tiny. So that's the right. So this this is this is not going to come out that way. It's going to it's going to come out that way. And what we want to do, make sure here is that 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 can sit flat on that plate, that the hole underneath is big enough for that whole balance staff to drop out of there. And then we want to use a punch that's wide enough to catch that rim right there. And this, this is, um, I think that this punch, but this is a, not a 4.7. I don't think it matters, no, except for it's going to go down too far. It's too short of a punch. Okay, so what I need is a punch with a tiny, tiny hole in it, like, the, like this, this one. I just want to put my staking set up here. And then what we're going to do is look for, this is how tiny that hole is. Let me, let me see. Um, Are going to be hard to focus up that high. So that's the whole size. I've got some punches over here with some pretty tiny holes.
Ideally, I would use a flat one. That's almost too small if that's possible. Let's take a look at this. <clears throat> so first I'll compare this. See that hole in my punch is even a little bit smaller than the, the punch I used before. But I think that punch was a little bit too big to tell you the truth. So now There, so that just kind of fitted on there. And I think I should be able to tap that and that breaks the rivet. <laughs> the, um, the staking tool has a hole in the bottom of it. So the, 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 the balance staff will slip out and land on the table. I felt something go there, so let's see what happened. Yeah. So that's gone. And then what was critical here is that this flat side was down, so I didn't bend the balance wheel. If I lift this, I find my balance staff. See if I can find that with the scope. And let's see if that balance staff is intact. Ooh, look at that. So the balance staff was actually damaged in the process of removing it. It's split open there. And um, that's no big deal because that was all about testing and the, the balance staff this balance staff is okay in terms of um, the pivots but this again this is just a practice look at how small that thing is Um, I guess the next thing I should be curious about is
Hmm. I'm curious about how I would go about dealing with this mainspring, sorry, hairspring. I'm curious how the hairspring is attached to the collet. It just goes in a little hole there. And then the collet itself is, it just is a split ring that, that clinches. So that allows you to rotate that to whatever position you need to, to, to get it to, to, to have your beat error correct. And then the final thing is, I'm curious about this, how to un, untweak this spring and if I could if I was in a position where I had to repair that if I could straighten that spring because that's one of the things about being a watchmaker oh boy That thing is... very... very easy to, to kink. Now see, I can see that the kind of the bottom part of this needs to come out. Untangle that. Am I just pushing that up the, everywhere this goes, it just, there, is that? Okay, I think I did it. No? That's crazy. Why does it not want to? You shouldn't have to follow it all the way like that. Is there a thing where you, can you use this tool differently like this? Not really.
So you know what's insane is that So every single step of the way, I have to keep, I have to do this loop by loop. And I'm still not there. It's like I'm getting to this position where This thing has to go through. That's it. There must be an easier way to do that. Okay, so then after doing all that, what happens is Let's see, we've got, we still have this kink here that needs to be this needs to be bent so that it's concentric and it wants to go inside there. Now, see, my feeling is you don't want to bend your hairspring. And then to have to fix it like this. I was just trying to put the opposite bend on that, on the end of that, and I just did it too much.
Oh. Just want to get zoomed in a little bit more there. So my theory is, in order to get this thing so it's not twisting like that, I need to tweak it in the opposite direction just a bit too much. Like that. That seems all right. And then Just wondering, like, if if I really had to fix this part, how would I do that? This is madness. Okay, I got to get on to the... See, just touching it is like messing it up worse. And now it's got all these twists in it. It's fun because you can see what has to happen Just the, 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 the effort that goes into making it happen is insane. See, I just flinched and then I got that big kink. And that's just like, I didn't do that on purpose it's just a muscle spasm like tiny little flick
So, my how time flies. That was basically because I want to be able to, I want to understand what that world is all about before I start doing that with the IWC. Um, and I think I got a good idea from that experience. I actually have an, another donor right here. I also wanted to check something. I'm missing, I broke some Inca block springs. I want to see if this can be used on a different movement. Okay, so what's interesting about this is that we've got another, a whole nother See, that's the, the Colette. And then on the opposite side, we got another roller table and impulse jewel. Same thing, the Colette is just press fit. Um, this is a mess. I think I remember this this movement was um an arsematic if I'm correct. Now the thing is this I would like to salvage this part and use it on a ETA twenty four seven two I have. How do I get that out of there? Man, what a pain. See, I wonder how much these jewels and things are compatible across different movements. And that's what I would like to find out. So this guy, to remove it, I probably have to remove this. But that's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that later. So let me try to close it up again without breaking it. One way is just to squeeze while you press down. That's not going to work. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, that was fun. I should try, the next thing will be to try to put the broken one back together again. Doesn't really matter that the rivet, that the, the, the balance staff is broken. I can still pretend to rivet it together. Um, not pretend, I can still do it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it. That's a good practice run. Because once I feel like I can change that balance staff, I, I don't have any doubt that I can repair the IWC Cal 44. It's just that balance staff. is, um, And I don't want to mess up the hairspring when I do that. So I want to have 
I want to be comfortable with these processes. The other thing is I need to get into the, like I have the other I have that Rolex service bench over there. I need to get into the correct kind of position. Should use a loop. But um Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching.